Good morning and welcome to the Morning Spotlight. My name is Mike Ham. I'm a sales executive for Fidelity National Title Group. Today our guest is Thomas Clark, CEO and founder of Cinematrocity, a video production company. I met Thomas through a mutual networking group prior to quarantine, and over the last couple of months, he's been a weekly attendee of our Tuesday night virtual happy hours. Thomas, how you doing? How's it going, Mike? Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, Cinematrocity. Yeah, so Cinematrocity, we work with businesses. We create uh, video assets for those businesses to use. Um, and it's pretty cool because they can implement these video uh, assets in their sales process and marketing, advertising. Uh, so I really like to think that it's more than just a video asset. It's a tool that they can use to automate certain processes within their business. And uh, there's been some really cool and creative ways that companies have used it. And uh, it's just been a really cool, awesome kind of work. Uh, so what kind of clients do you work with? Yeah, so we work with uh, small businesses of almost any industry. And then on the medium to large side, we will work with uh, education, healthcare, real estate, nonprofit, um, businesses of that nature. So obviously, you know, um, there's been a lot of confusion and, and stuff over the last uh, couple of months. What conversations have you been having with those clients um, with respect to your business? Yeah, so with COVID, uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely changed some things up with our business uh, because a lot of what we do uh, has a lot of human interaction. Um, so that has definitely been a challenge, but uh, luckily there has been a lot of uh, awesome creative workarounds, whether it's repurposing, reusing assets, um, animation video, product videos, um, things of that nature. And as we're kind of in the swing of things, uh, kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, we have been kind of booking more uh, in-person uh, shoots that have, you know, kind of what we were doing before all this happened. Uh, so we're slowly seeing the uh, light of day and uh, getting back to that, you know, normal uh, swing of things with us. That's great. Glad to hear that. Um, so obviously I started this being a total novice, right? And wish I had a little bit of direction, but what suggestions do you have for people who are putting together their own video content for LinkedIn and some other platforms? Yeah, so I would say, uh, I mean, I've always kind of been into creating video content for LinkedIn. And then now with uh, coronavirus and all that, uh, now is, you know, probably the best time to be experimenting with this stuff um, because, you know, everyone's kind of at home scrolling on their feeds um, and video content in general is, is just the best way that you can kind of communicate and interact and, uh, you know, just kind of get uh, conversations going on LinkedIn, uh, you know, sharing an event that happened to you or sharing um, a really valuable trick that you have or, you know, anything of that nature. Um, really just will, you know, help you out because, you know, people kind of see you as the thought leader and uh, also just kind of get some conversations going. Uh, and, you know, ultimately, I think it'll expand your network and just kind of like uh, set, set you as the thought leader in that space. Absolutely. Uh, so if you want to learn more about Thomas and learn more about his business, I'm going to put our contact information at the end of this video. Uh, be sure to check out our Tuesday night virtual happy hours to connect with Thomas. He's a weekly attendee and some other great people. Um, Thomas, thanks for coming on with us today. Yeah, thank you very much. Absolutely. And everybody else, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.